Okay, any questions? So I think it's a very elegant result. And uh, because, you know, this is a very strange function, right? The top hat function. It, it doesn't seem very natural. So it seemed very unnatural that whereas this function looks very natural, there are no like discontinuity and stuff like that. So it seems very, very, um, very uh, mysterious to me at first how integrating this guy will give me this guy. But it turns out that the complex analysis really helps visualize this method. Okay. Any questions? Uh, yeah, sir. Yeah. So from the first comment, I got the hint that like it. I mean, I got some gist that like it might be related to uh, commutative, commutivity. Is that the case, or uh, commutivity has, doesn't have anything to do with that? Commutativity of what? The uh, of of what quantities? Like since we are dealing with the position and the momentum. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I haven't really talked about that yet. But yeah, at some point when we talk about Heisenberg uncertainty principle, you will see that you know the fact that you know. Uh, you know, this is uh, like this thing has a deeper mathematical, uh, you know, significance, okay? In terms of expectation value of position, mm -hmm. uh, uh, expect, sorry, expectation value of position, um, well, not expectation value of position, expectation value of the uncertainty in position, uh, which is uh, defined by square the expectation value of the of the operator x minus its average uh, squared and taking its average and square root right and the expectation value of the uh, of the uncertainty in p which is again similarly defined to be square root the expectation value of the p operator minus its average squared its average taken and square root right so uh so these are uh you know when we calculate these things we will see that these guys are related are essentially given by these uh are measures of these uh um uh, you know uh the these widths okay and the fact that x and p are operators and they do not commute that instead they satisfy this algebra, the famous Heisenberg algebra, is going to be the reason why, you know, um, uh, the fact that they don't commute is why this is true. Uh, if there were operators, say, there is position in the x direction, position in the y direction, and they commute, and for such operators, we can show that that delta x times delta y is going to be zero. Okay, so yeah, you're right. Okay, any other questions or comments from uh, especially the Fourier analysis part, the contour integration part? By the way, I'm going to give you a clearer uh, derivation of the muscle contour in the next class uh, because uh, I think, or you know, you can, uh, you know, when I post my notes, I will, uh, I will do a better just uh, a better treatment of that. Okay, any more questions? If not, you know, let's uh, move uh, move ahead.